Welcome to Christ Church in Aylmer. My name's Jeannie and I'm the priest in charge. And the people who you're not seeing are David, Lyle and Trevor. And we need to give them thanks because they're the ones who are preparing this video. I've brought um, a simple message and also a blessing. As we all know, we are living in extraordinary times. We've been sequestered for months, our economy fairly much shut down and it's only now carefully reopening. And importantly, a great number of people have died with COVID-19. At last count, more than half a million. It may therefore seem ironic According to our church calendar, we have just entered ordinary time. Now, some of us are aware of ordinary time and what it signifies, but for those who aren't. Ordinary time is that part of the church year which falls outside the major seasons. There's Advent, the Nativity, Epiphany, Lent, Easter, and Pentecost. Then there's this very, very long stretch, which begins following Pentecost and leads right up until the first Sunday of Advent. Ordinary time is the longest season of the church year. Now to call it ordinary isn't necessarily negative. It's simply that part of the year when we're not commemorating the major events that marked the life of Jesus. Instead, we're set free to focus on what he said and what he did during his time on earth. And we can do that, no matter how usual or unusual the times. No epiphanies, no miracles, just time filled with the ordinary love, hopes and fears that are common to us all. The calendar color of ordinary time is green. Maybe that's why it's sometimes called the green season. Most often green symbolizes growth. During this season, we're invited to delve more deeply into scripture and into the life of Jesus. For example, we hear his parables they changed the lives of everyone with whom he interacted in ways big and small. They hit the bone, exposing human beings' defensiveness and longings, its fears and its hopes. Ordinary time invites us to explore what it means to live in faith day by day by day. It's a season that urges us to grow as we explore the sacred in the moment. Now, this is a blessing written by a woman whose name is Jan Richardson, and it can be found in her book, The Painted Prayer Book. When you are lost in your own life, when the landscape you have known falls away, when your familiar path becomes foreign and you find yourself a stranger in the story you once held most dear, then let yourself be lost. Let yourself leave for a place whose contours you do not already know, whose cadences you have not learned by heart. Let yourself land on a threshold that mirrors the mystery of your own bewildered soul it will come as a surprise what arrives to welcome you through the door, making a place for you at the table and calling you by your name. Let what comes come. Let the glass be filled. Let the light be tended. Let the hands lay before you what will meet you in your hunger. Let the laughter. Let the sweetness that enters the sorrow let the solace that comes as sustenance and sudden unbidden grace. 
for what comes, offer gladness. For what greets you with kindly welcome, give thanks. Offer blessings for those who have gathered you in and who will not be forgotten. Those who, when you were a stranger, made a place for you at the table and called you by name. Amen.